Hey everyone, in the previous video we have learned how to add a document to our database. So today we're going to learn how to add multiple documents to our database using batch writes. Now with the help of batch write you can perform a set up write operation on one or many documents. If you want to do both read and write operations then you would use transactions. And Firebase has a good video about explaining these two concepts. Uh, you can check that later. The benefit of using batch writes is that if you do multiple operation and in the middle the operations get failed, then all of your data will revert it back to its previous state. So either you complete all the operations or do nothing so that you don't get into a situation where half of the data is updated and half of them are not. So let's see how we can use it. It's pretty simple to do. So first we need to create a batch and then we need to perform the set operation for adding the data. You can also perform update or delete operations. Okay, so let's write the code. So for the data, I have a post.json file inside the data directory. We'll use this. It has a title property, content, and the tags. So let's create the server action, const add multiple posts. And we need to use the write batch function to create a new batch. So const batch will be write batch. And we need to use the database variable. And each post will have its own user. But I'm going to choose a random user from the users that I have created from the Firebase console. So I've created two user reference using their user IDs. And this function will give me a random user from these two users. Now we can loop over the posts. So posts. Let's create a post data variable. And here I'm going to spread out the post. And the user will be a random user. Now I also want to add a created at property to add a timestamp. So created at. Now you can't use just new date like this. You can use the server timestamp function. This one will add the current timestamp. But the problem here is that you will get exact same timestamp for all the posts, which I don't want. I want a random timestamp. For that, I can use a timestamp constructor. But I will need to create a separate function for this. I will paste the code here. So this get random timestamp function will give us a random timestamp. And the date will be between January 1st, 2024 and current date. And you can just remove this timestamp and call the get random timestamp function. And now we need to create a document reference because we want to add a document. So const docref. So we need to call the doc function. And we need to refer to a collection. So collection, and we need to pass the TV variable and the collection name where we want to store our documents, which is posts. And we don't need to add any document ID because the document ID doesn't exist. And now we can call the set method from the batch and pass this to data, document reference, and the post data. And after looping over the post, we can call the batch commit function. This one will add all the data to our database. So that should be it for the server function. Now to trigger this server function, we need to add a button to our post form. But let's just export that. So let's go to the post form. And I have already created a button, which is this one. And now we need to add an onclick event listener to this button. But the problem is that this form component is actually a server component. We can make this a client component by adding use client. But if you want to keep this form as a server component, you could obviously uh, move this button component to a separate file and make that file a client component instead of making the entire form a client component. But I'm not going to bother about that. So I'm going to keep this as a client component. Now we can add an on click event handler. So we can pass add multiple posts function. 
So hopefully it should work. So if I click on add multiple documents, uh, application error, a client side exception has occurred. See browser console for more information. Only plain objects and a few built-ins can be passed to server action classes or null prototypes are not supported. Okay, so I got the problem. Here we need to create another function and return this function call. We can directly use the server action as a event handler. Let's click on this. And we don't see any error on the browser console. Let's see on the terminal, no error. So let's go to the Firebase console. And you can see inside the post collection, we have multiple posts. Each of them has content. Then the created at date, which is totally random. As you can see, and also it has a user, which is also random. So this is how you can add multiple documents to your Firestore database. In the next video, we're going to learn how to fetch all these documents from our server component and client component. So that's it for today. I will see you in the very next video. Goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,